Yo, we outside with it again, man. I'm gonna show you guys a super underrated, underutilized bodyweight movement that I think has a lot of transfer over, transfer over, transfer over into strength training, hypertrophy, uh, and calisthenic skill work. So when we think of bodyweight movements for the back, first thing that comes to mind is pull-ups, chin-ups, and obviously, yeah, these are great bodyweight movements and they're time-tested, but I think one thing we also neglect is that our body just, just, doesn't just move vertically, there's also a horizontal component to it. Um, and rowing in the horizontal plane activates different parts of your back that you don't really uh, activate when you do vertical movements. All right, and, build, and building a strength in, in a horizontal row can have applications to uh, a wider back, a stronger back, um, and have carryover to your pull-ups. So as you can see here, I got my setup right here with a gymnaster, gymnastics rings on the basketball hoop. Um, but there's other ways you can uh, do the inverted row and I'll show you guys at the end of the video with a barbell. So the key thing is when you're starting out with this movement is, you know, take the rings out as far as you can where you feel comfortable at and rowing very close to your body. So keeping your elbows and arms close to your body and driving those elbows back as I'm going to show you right here and thinking like a cue I like to think of is that there's like a pencil in the middle of my back and I'm trying to squeeze it and, and break the pencil. Um, that's one cue that's really helped me. And you can even mix the, uh, you know, the grip with these. You can do, you know, uh, underhand grip, overhand grip, and evil, and even a single arm, a single uh, ring row. That is the body weight row, guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys ways you can do at the gym if you don't have rings, and ways you can progressively add weight uh, to this movement to uh, incorporate progressive overload and get stronger at it. So that way it's not just some kind of body weight movement where you're not adding any progressive overload to it. So here's the setup. You can set the bar on a rack, on the rack pins, and then place your feet on like a plyo box. And I added some more plates on top to match my feet. So there's two ways you can add weight to this movement to make it progressively harder. And then one is using a weighted vest, which I think is a better option. Or two, you can use a, a dip belt, which, I'm, which is what I'm using here. Um, using a dip belt, make sure to use smaller plates and looping the chain around so the weight isn't really banging on the floor that much.